advanced breast cancer is a rather heterogeneous condition and it probably is a conglomerate of multiple somewhat different diseases or disease conditions. I think it is important for patients to understand from the very beginning and have this very basic conversation with their physicians about what type of breast cancer they have. Hormone responsive advanced breast cancer is considered by many of us as a chronic condition where survival is measured in a number of years as opposed to a number of months and where there are multiple treatment options. Beyond that, to understand that they have multiple therapeutic options and that having a chronic condition will require treatment on and off probably for the rest of their lives. And having that realization from the very beginning and understanding that makes their um, treatment and their lifestyle much more easier to deal with and to manage because they have realistic expectations, they know exactly where they are heading, and the treatment changes become easier since they are somewhat more predictable. Well, I think it's always important for patients, their advocates or family members, and their physician, nurse, and other members of their team to have a comfortable relationship. I sometimes see patients for second opinions who come not because they think I have anything different to tell them, and I'm sure some of my patients go for second opinions to other people in the same situation, just because they don't feel they've had a comfortable or a good communicating relationship with their doctor or their doctor nurse team. And I think it's really important for a patient to expect that relationship. And if it's not there, to perhaps look around and see if they might find a better one, or to discuss that relationship with their, the physician they have and their physician nurse team. Newly diagnosed patients with breast cancer need to participate in, in the process of um, selection of treatment by learning as much as they can about what breast cancer is, what the different types of breast cancer are, and what the possible choices in treatment are. Because only by being informed can they ask the right questions. There's not a predetermined list of questions that they should ask, but there is a much better exchange between their physician and the patient if they understand the basic concepts of the disease.